Audi press conference Ladies at the Consumer Electronics Show 2019. Audi presents Audi its America, ideas for the future Mark at the Consumer Electronics Show CES in Las Vegas. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Audi at CES. We've been coming to CES since 2011, and we are, in fact, the first automotive manufacturer to come to Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show. Why do we come here? Because technological advancements to benefit society and our customers is core to the Audi brand whether it be orchestrating the first automated driving demonstration from Stanford to Las Vegas, or showing the benefits of AI in automated driving, new MMI systems that are now reality, or connectivity advancements that would help us all navigate our day better. We want to lead the conversation of how electric, automation, and digitalization will move us all in the years to come. To define how Audi moves you and how Audi moves America. Whether you're driving an e-tron or being driven in an Audi icon, we are here at CES to move you with our amazing technologies. You know, just yesterday, we announced the formation of a new coalition called Partners for Automated Vehicle Education, also called PAVE. PAVE is a coalition of industry, nonprofit, and academic institutions with one goal, to inform and educate the public policymakers on the facts regarding automating vehicles so that they can fully participate in shaping the future of our roads and our highways. We believe that technical challenges of creating driverless vehicles are solvable, and we believe that providing clear, factual information about the current state of the technology and its future potential will help realize that potential. With partners such as the CTA, National Safety Council, NVIDIA, Zooks, as well as some of our other automotive brethren, we are proud to be a founding member of the PAVE Coalition and look forward to it educating us all in the years to come. And when we do get to the point that automated vehicles are able to provide transportation for the sick, for the elderly, my children, or the disabled, the benefits will truly be tangible for all. And while you are being brought to your destination, you will certainly want to be entertained, be offered valued added digital services that will change how you spend your time in our vehicles, and a lot of that is made possible through electric vehicles. We are excited to bring you our first electric vehicle, the e-tron, to America in just a few months. We will debut the e Tron Sportback later this year, and the e-tron GT will go into production in 2020 with even more to come. We expect that 30% of our vehicle portfolio will be electrified by 2025 from a sales perspective. And these stunning cars will not only change the way we move America, but also the way in which Audi moves you in terms of mobility, digitalization, as well as the entertainment, we will enjoy doing so. And we'll also move you in the largest media platform in just a few weeks, the Super Bowl. So thank you for joining us today. And now I'd like to introduce you to a man who brings technology to life every day in his podcast, RMC Guy Raz. Guy, come on out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Wow. Welcome to CS. What a wonderful turnout. I'm Guy Raz, and some of you may recognize my voice from some of my podcasts, including How I Built This. You know, one of the things we try and do on our programs is to explore this moment that we're living in, the, the huge disruptions that are changing everything about the way we experience the world, ideas and inventions few of us could have imagined just a few years ago. 
And of course, that's what we're here to talk about today. How things like digitization are enabling top engineers, including at Audi, to completely reimagine vehicles. A future where cars like the Icon concept car will be fully connected, fully electric, and fully autonomous. But also, technology that's opening up a whole new world of mobility. The future is happening in real time, and we are all about to get a first-hand glimpse at some of this exciting technology. So, let's start with some of the experts and visionaries working on this at Audi. Direct from Audi headquarters in Ingolstadt, Germany, please join me in welcoming Niels Volney and Peter Kunsch. Gentlemen. What a turnout, huh? Pretty great. It was awesome. So far, so good for you here at CES? Yeah, it's amazing. All right, let's start with you first, Niels. Um, from driving experience to experience the drive. This is Audi's central theme at CES this year. Um, so let's start with the experience part yeah. of this. Um, you are head of digital business at Audi. So t tell us a little bit more about that general idea. Yeah, of course. So experience obviously becomes a major part in future mobility. Since mobility as we know it today will radically change. So the infrastructure will change, the architecture of vehicles will change, the way we access mobility will change, and that of course influences the way we experience uh, mobility of the future. So the passenger moves into the focus and actually, um, yeah, he becomes a major focus point for us in our work. So this is due to the fact uh, um, that we frame our work on future mobility experience uh, with the term the 25th hour. So we look at solutions that really save our customers time in the future when using mobility solutions and most importantly also enrich their time on board. So let, let's talk about the passenger for a moment because there are literally billions of car rides that happen yep. around the world every year and, and most of the people in those cars are oftentimes passengers. You could argue that, that that's sort of wasted time or lost time. Yeah, and in, in very many cases, uh, transit time feels like wasted time because uh, you might have something better to do. And uh, yeah, maybe for most of the parents in the audience, the sentence, are we there yet? Sounds quite <laughs> familiar, doesn't it? Right. So we started to circle our thoughts around today's in-car entertainment and look for solutions how to entertain our passengers in the future. And basically, um, what we've done, deriving from algorithms from autonomous driving, we took data data points like positioning, speed, acceleration, steering, braking, and so on, and match this with virtual worlds. By this, we created a completely new category that makes you move seamlessly through this virtual environment. And you brought a video along with you, right? Of course. All right, let's course. take a look at what Niels brought with him. Enjoyed your first solo ride. It was great. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Wahnsinn. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know when when people laugh and it makes you laugh, that video is super cool. Yeah, so that, the passenger laughs. The passenger laughs. So that that looked familiar, by the way. What, what was that? Yeah, we filmed this last two days in Speed Vegas, where we had our prototypes out there for a selected audience to try out the experience. Super cool. Okay, so. Let me understand this. This is combining real-time data from the car with XR to, to create that experience? Right. Um, due to the haptic feedback of the real drive, the virtual ride feels incredibly intense and more immersive than ever before. And due to the connection to navigation data, it can be tailored to your trip. Basically, that's why we call it elastic content, because it adapts to your travel time and route. And most importantly, due to the synchronization of the virtual world and the real drive with almost no latency, um, well-known side effects when consuming traditional media in cars on the back seat 
seats uh, are basically taken, taken away. And so you can say, for the first time, we created a medium that actually works best in the car, because consuming traditional content in a car might always seem like a compromise, since uh, watching a movie might be better in a cinema or at home. And as I was watching that and, and reading about it a bit, I discovered you have teamed up with somebody who knows a little bit about entertainment and yeah. gaming. Yeah, that's true. Uh, to unlock the full potential of our technology, we have collaborated with Disney's Games and Interactive Experiences team uh, to create a showcase specifically for a selected audience at CES. So since we have a long relationship between Audi and Marvel, we created uh, a Marvel Entertainment Experience. Um, but this is not a commercial product, it's just uh, for demonstration purposes only. So, Niels, what's next? So, as uh, some of all, uh, you might have already read and you saw in the trailer, Audi is committed to this new content category. That's why Audi has co-founded a new startup called Holoride, me being one of the founders from February onwards. Um, and we want to make this technology commercially available across all car manufacturers, entertainment companies, and extended reality devices. And when will this be available to consumers? Yeah, so we plan to launch the SDK for content creators at the end of the year, and then launch the, the product for users uh, in the next two to three years. Super cool. Okay, Neil, stand by. I want to turn to you, Peter, for a moment. And we just saw what's possible when the car is in motion, but you are working on technology for when the car is stationary. Um, you're the head of advanced engineering chassis. Um, so t tell us a little bit more about this in-car entertainment when the car is stationary. Yeah. Whether the car is moving or in standstill, it very sure become um, your private space for an extraordinary entertainment experience. And based on that, we just want to answer the uh, central question, really, how can it be that uh, we just not only um, yeah, consume content, but to really experience it? And um, the entertainment industry here uh, led us the way. Uh, they are spicing up a cinema with visual 3D effects and motion seats to really get their audience involved into the uh, movie. And Peter, I know anybody here can experience that. It's well worth the wait in line to, to check that out. But yeah. can you explain how that technology is integrated into the car? Because it literally moves. Yeah, we looked at our car and we recognized that we already have much more to offer than just some displays and some speakers. Um, this prototype over there, this black A8, um, has a fully active suspension system on board, um, as well as a high-end um, audio system. And furthermore, we can um, control the temperature and the wind speed via the air condition system. We have integrated small little electric motors into the seats uh, that you feel vibration. And of course, we can manipulate the ambient light of the complete car just to, um, uh, that it fits to the content you see on the screen. And when all those systems work together um, perfectly aligned, um, this package really delivers a completely new way of enjoying the latest blockbusters. Yeah, I mean, some movie theaters are starting to think about this technology with smells and wind and, exactly. and even water. Uh, do you think of this as sort of a modern, uh, sort of a, an in-car version of a drive-in movie theater? Yeah, not really and not only. I think for the most of you guys here, it takes just less than 30 seconds to realize that so much more exciting stuff is possible uh, while combining car features with entertaining content. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm very happy to let you know that our team also played around with integrating even more elements like a steering wheel, like the shift lever, um, gas pedal and brake pedal and much more things. And for today, you simply have to trust me that a in-car race simulation is the perfect um, content for exactly this setup. And um, that's exciting because you just feel any curb you hit on the Nürburgring while racing, or you hear and really feel the specific rattle sound when you go on gravel roads and driving rally. Yeah, it's, it's really cool and extremely immersive as well. It is. We should combine it with all the Yeah, we should yes. do, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, super exciting things happening. Um, Niels.
Peter, thank you very, very much for the thank updates. And you. obviously, they're all around us here, so folks should check them out. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank um, you. Thank you very much. Yep, thanks. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Let's move on now to some trends in consumer electronics. Okay, so trends in consumer electronics, or to be more precise, we're going to take a look at some of these trends and, and how they could influence product offerings, even business models, even Audi's business models. Please welcome to the stage Dr. Thomas Mueller. He's the Executive Vice President of Electrics Electronics, and Fermin Sonera, he's Head of Product, Man product Marketing. Excuse me. Fermin, Thomas, welcome. So far, so good? Yes. Enjoying good. CES? Great. Yeah. All right, let me, let me ask you first, Tomas, about some of the ideas that we've, we've heard uh, from Niels and Peter. Um, they mentioned partnerships, right? So tell me a little bit more about how you are teaming up with some of the players in the consumer electronics industry to realize some of these yeah. ideas. Yeah, as you know, at Audi, we try to put the customer, of course, and the customer experience into the center of what we are doing and create meaningful use cases inside and outside of the car. And so as consumer electronics is a part of everybody's life anyway, now we think of how can we bring these parts into the car and create use cases which make perfect sense. Take our Alibison Alexa integration into the car, for instance. Mm -hmm. You can talk to Alexa like you can do at home, and if somebody has connected Alexa to his smartphone, well, on your way back, driving to home, you can open your garage, you can set your temperature and what have you. So these create use cases which we cannot do alone, where we need to collaborate with the big partners in the industry and do that extra value add for our customers. And by the way, we are doing this already since quite some years at Audi. You might know that we are in partnership with Google since, very, uh, since, since many years, and we also have our here collaborations, uh, we have Apple CarPlay in the cars and so on. So yes, the collaboration and cooperation with consumer electronics plays a major role. A lot of the talk nowadays is about IoT, about personalization, about AI. How do those concepts influence how you think about products and services? Yeah. I mean, with the, with the Audi application and the, the Audi, and the My Audi app, we have created a digital system, a digital ecosystem around our cars, which is gradually expanding. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are convinced that if you make this ecosystem intelligent in the future, it can actually add extra benefit to the customers. We show here uh, at uh, the CS uh, the world first function on demand in our Audi e-tron. And in Audi e-tron, you can, after you have purchased the car, purchase additional features. For instance, a magic beam. Mm. And how cool is that if you drive in a dark winter day and you think like, well, now I would like to have some matrix beam. And you just go to the in-car shop and you purchase matrix beam for your car. And now think of expanding this and bringing it into a more artificial intelligent world where the car is also learning from the customer, is learning which next feature or next service might suit best, or is doing automatic settings of the car. So I think there is a big world opening up when it comes to using this technology for our customers. Wow. Let me turn to you, Fermin, for, for a second. Ask you about the e-tron, uh, which is, of course, just, just up here um, on display. How, how central is this car to the, the future of Audi? Well, very central, Guy. The e-tron represents our definition of innovation and emotion, of passion and great design. It's a pure electric car and a pure Audi. Four strong character and design. The Audi DNI combined into a fully electric SUV. The world premiere in San Francisco last September was a very special moment for us, mm. since this car represents our future, and it's going to definitely change our company's history. So far, we have received more than 20,000 pre-orders, and after the dynamic press presentation in Abu Dhabi, we have also highly positive media feedback. Thank you very much for that. And it's just the beginning. Until 2025, we will be offering more than 20 electric models. 
So we merge over 100 years of experience with the new electromobility wall. I mean, it's not an overstatement to say we are in the midst of a, a revolution in, yeah. in, the, in the industry. A major revolution, absolutely. And I am convinced that Audi is on the right track. As you know, we at Audi call our mission, our attitude, Forsprung. And fulfilling that mission means thinking long-term and strategically, being customer-centric, and created outstanding and fascinating brands. We want to define the premium mobility experience of tomorrow. That's what we take care not only care about the car, but also the whole ecosystem. In talking about the ecosystem, I want to ask you about functions on demand. What, what is it? How does it work? How does it affect your relationship with your customers? Well, especially this new digital wall, uh, new for us, open us up completely new opportunities, like the ones offered by Function on Demand. For the first time, we can keep in touch with our customer during the whole life cycle of the vehicle. And we can actively target also the used car owners. Hmm. For example, maybe the first owner allowed, uh, knew, uh, wanted uh, much more focus on the driver assistance system, while the new owner has more, much more interest on the infotainment systems. Well, functions on demand allows the customer to choose and pay for the functions they need at the right moment for the right time. We want to offer our customers exactly the premium service at the right time. What about the overall ecosystem for, for electric cars? A good point. Well, in Europe, the infrastructure for the Italian system is really big. Under one contract, our customers will get access to more than 72,000 charging points, including the high-speed charging from Ionity. And here in the US, over a 10-year period going until 2027, Electrify America will invest $2 billion in zero emission vehicles, in education programs, infrastructure, and access. We promise, very soon, range exit is not going to be an issue anymore. We make mobility safe, sustainable, premium and individual. We keep our promise, forced from the technic, thinking beyond our customers' needs and expectations, challenging the status quo and continuously innovating. And that, together with our amazing design, it's what makes the Audi brand so special. Fairman, Tomas, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the close of our, our press conference here, but not the end, of course, of CES. And there is much more to come three times a day right here. Join us for Audi Tech Talks. Um, these Tech Talks will take place right here in, in the Audi booth. There's one happening today at 1 p.m., at 3 p.m., and at 5 p.m. Each one is different, so mark your calendars. Uh, the TED Talks will be a deeper dive on some of the new innovations, including Audi's fully electric e-car, uh, the Audi e-tron, of course. We're going to hear about the 25th hour project at Audi, and we're going to mo talk more in depth about the next level in-car entertainment. So I hope to see you here. I hope we have a date here at the Audi booth at 1 p.m. That's in just a little under two hours from now. For now, goodbye, and thank you for, for joining us.